Hey guys, I've been getting a lot of messages about what happened at the auction, if we bought anything or not. So I wanted to get on here and show you guys um, what we did buy and what some of the stuff did go for. Uh, the first thing I did want to show you guys was the Jeep. So I know that it, it's old and it probably needs some work, but I really wanted the Jeep. I thought it would be really cool. Um, for those of you who don't know, I sold my car last summer and I haven't had my own car since then. Um, I've been using uh, my husband's Ranger to drive the kids around and it would just be nice to have something that's just mine and uh, I thought that was kind of cool. But we did discuss it and we decided that, you know, anything over five grand is probably a little too much for a 99 Jeep. But I do understand that they are pretty popular in certain circles and in, in demand. So the price, it went for 8,100 bucks. We didn't actually bid on it. We did watch it pretty closely. But I do think that the price was pretty fair um, for, compared to how expensive used Jeeps are right now. But uh, I definitely watched that pretty closely. I watched it close and I, closed and I was like a little bummed out, but I, I don't need it. I did want it though. So let's take a look here and we'll pull up. Oh, the W900. So we didn't actually bid on this. We decided that it wasn't for us. Um, our next truck is, we are looking for a W900, but this one, we decided needed too many things for us to really make it worthwhile, especially with, um, like having the super singles on the back and then being, uh, being an automatic and those types of things. But, um, it was a pretty nice truck and it ended up going for $84,250 which seems to be pretty much what trucks are going for these days at auction, dump trucks anyway. Okay, let's move on, click on over here. So here's the first truck that we took a look at it, uh, when we were at the auction. It, it is a T800, which my husband doesn't want to get another T800. I am very partial to them, everyone knows that. Um, but he doesn't want to get another T800 just yet, I guess. He doesn't really particularly like working on them, but I don't know if that's like for any specific reason other than it's my favorite truck and he's not a fan. But so we we looked this one over and we, uh, we did like the way it ran and it seemed to function pretty well, but we in the end decided that we weren't gonna bid on it. It ended up going for $88,500, so a little bit more than the, um, the W900, which was to be expected because this one was in a little bit better shape. So, it is five years newer as well. So the excavator that we took a look at that had the fresh coat of paint on it, that Bobby fired up and moved around a bit. Um, it was a 2000, I didn't realize it was that old at the time, um, but it's the perfect size for us. Like that's the size we need. And it had the enclosed cab, which was something that Bobby really wanted. And um, we didn't actually bid on it, uh, but the price, it went for 35,000, which I thought with how much the equipment goes for these days, I didn't think it was too bad, but I mean, it is 22 years old. We kind of are looking for something that has rubber tracks too, because we have so much asphalt here at our house and it would just make things a lot easier if we had rubber tracks and could just drive across the driveway. But I, I don't think that that's a bad price. It probably is a pretty good runner. And everybody was saying that you don't, put a fresh coat of paint on something unless it's broken and send it to auction. But I don't know, everywhere, when I worked at Pilco, when things would go for auction, they put a fresh coat of paint on everything regardless of the condition. So I, I guess that I'm just used to seeing that. I guess every company's different. Well, here's the service truck that we looked at. I know a lot of people said not to get it because it's a 6 but Bobby is a 6.0 guru and he is amazing with them. But he was looking at it because it's actually quite a bit bigger than our uh, truck that we have, our service truck. And also it has 
like a compartment or an area underneath for the welder and so the welder wouldn't have to sit up on top of the frame or on top of the boxes. So I we were gonna bid on it, but we kind of talked about it and we decided that our limit for this truck was about 10 grand. And thinking about it now, the price it went for, which is uh, just under 12,000 was still a pretty good deal. Um, so let's take a look here at what we did buy. And, and by we, I mean Bobby bought and then told me about it later. So <laughs> I, uh, he, he knows, you know, like that I don't mind that kind of stuff. So he just, he went for it. So we got this little cart that had like a hose reel on it. Um, it was only 70 bucks. Basically what this cart is going to be for, he's going to put the drum of oil that we got on there and then it'll have like the pump and the hose reel. It'll make, it'll make changing the oil on the truck or, or customer trucks a lot easier. So, um, it seemed like a pretty fair price. 70 bucks actually kind of cheap so he got that i guess he bid on it and then forgot about it and then got a notification that he won later on and he's like oh i won that so it was not we weren't paying that much attention but it definitely this will be definitely useful for us so and then this i think this is the one that he won um i've seen it down in the shop i just don't know if this was i'm pretty sure this is it um but this was a, a gas powered steamer pressure washer that he wanted. Um, so we won that. Um, he went down and picked everything up, I think last week. And he's been dinking around with everything and having a really good time. Uh, we are already watching the next auction, the next uh, heavy equipment auction. I scanned, I, I scrolled down and uh, the city of Seattle one might be good too. So I think we're gonna take a look at that one. Let's see if there's anything good on there now. Okay, so there's no pictures yet, but it looks like there's gonna be a bunch of, there's gonna be a bunch of stuff from the city of Seattle. So that'll be cool. We'll take a look at that when it comes, when it goes up. And then the heavy equipment auction, they're already starting to put stuff on here. So just a few items. We're definitely gonna be going to this one as well. It looks like these two are gonna be happening at the same time. So the city of Seattle online auction and the heavy equipment auction are at the same time. So that'll be perfect because we'll definitely be looking at what the city's getting rid of. Okay guys, so we're gonna get back to doing some trucking videos here in the next couple of days. Things have been pretty crazy around here and I've just been focusing on the kids and making sure that the business is functioning right. And so I have some other updates for you guys later on, but um, we're just gonna cut this short and I will see you guys next time.